Good morning everyone and welcome back to Music Tree! Yay! Today's class is going to be a little special because my friend, Teacher Lim... Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Lim. How is everyone doing today? Is going to tell us a new story from Music Tree! So let's get our heart and our brain ready, open up our ears and our eyes and let's see what is Joe and Mary going to be up to this time. Enjoy the class! Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Lim. How is everyone doing today? Today, we will visit our old friends, Mummy, Mary, Joe and Fluffy. Last time we saw them, where were they heading to? The World Park! What happened during their walk? Fluffy slipped over a banana peel and Joe helped to pick up the banana peel and threw it into a dustbin. Do you agree with what Joe did? Certainly yes! It is our responsibility to keep our area clean and beautiful. Hmm, wonder what is in store for them. Okay everyone, get your ears ready. Please close your eyes and cover them with your hands before the music starts. While the music is playing, I want you to picture the first things that come to your mind. It can be anything. And once the music is done, share with me what you saw. Let's join Mary and Joe. Close your eyes and no peeping. Ready? Mother cooks a hearty dinner for Mary and Joe after they finish the trip to World Park. There is braised fish, broccoli, green vegetables, and other good smelling food. Joe is not a picky eater and he enjoys the food very much. Fluffy's eyes glow when he sees the fish. Mary, however, looks unhappy and knits her eyebrows. What is wrong with her? She doesn't want to eat the food on the table. She only wants desserts, cakes and chocolates. Why Mary looks unhappy and knits her brows? Because Mary doesn't want to eat the food on the table. She only wants to eat cakes and chocolates. Children, is it good only to eat cakes and chocolates? No, it is not good to eat desserts only. We should eat more fruits and vegetables to keep us healthy and don't be particular about food, just like Joe, who enjoys eating all the food. We appreciate the food provided to us. Hi everyone, I'm back and now it's time to learn our Do Re Mi. 
Are you ready? Sing along with me. One, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Well done. Do you still remember the hand signs for mi, so, and ti? If you can't, that's okay. Let's do it together. Get your hands ready. One, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Wonderful. Let's do it faster. One, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Awesome. Give yourself a high five. For today, we are going to be learning all about Do, Re, Mi, Fa Are you ready to learn its hand sign? Follow after me Let's do it slowly, ready? One, two, three Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti Did you catch that? This is how we do the curl one hand sign for fa. First, you need both of your thumbs and then point them downwards. This is the hand sign for fa. Now, let's do all of the hand signs that we've learned before. We're going to start slowly and then we're going to go faster and faster. Are you ready? Let's do slow. One, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa. So la ti. Wonderful. Can we go faster? One, two, three. Do re mi fa so la ti. Can we go even faster? Let's go. One, two, three. Do re mi fa so la ti. Even faster. One, two, three, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Awesome! Now let's play a mini game. I'm going to say out the sounds and you have to show its Cohen hand sign. Are you ready? Let's go. Mi. Very good. So. find out where do all these notes live on the five line staff. Where do you think me live on the five line staff? That's right, me lives on a line, but which line? Did you say first line? Because if you did, that's right. Me lives at the very first line. Okay. How about so? Very good. So live on the second line. How about T? Mm -hmm. Me lives on the first line. So lives on the second line. So T lives on the third line. Now, how about fa? We know that fa lives between mi and so. So where does fa stay? Here's a clue. Fa doesn't stay on the line. Instead, it lives in the space. So, do you think fa lives on space number one? Space number two, three, or four? What do you think? Very good! Fa lives on the first space. Just right here. 
Now here's another mini game. I'm gonna show you a few notes on the five line staff. But whenever you see fa, clap your hands excitedly. Are you ready? Let's go. Did you identify all of the fa? So from the story that Teacher Lin told us, we have to appreciate our food, especially food which are nutritious and good for your body. Therefore, this is your assignment for today. First, think of all of your favorite food, especially food that are good for your body. And then draw it out, all out on a plate, just like this. Make sure you include fruits, okay? Draw your favorites, vegetables, protein, which are good for your muscles, and you can get them from meat products or eggs. And then grains, such as rice or noodles or anything that are made out of wheat. And then, not forgetting dairy products such as milk or cheese. Dairy products have calcium in them, which are good for your growing bones. Once you have filled up your plate with nutritional food, make sure you take a picture of your poster and send it to this online classroom. Now remember children, our health is very important for ourselves and our family. So it's important to take good care of it. Eat well, to live well. Teacher Pauline, signing off. See you next time. Bye-bye.